Hello everybody, be welcome to my YouTube channel, the Instagram and all uh, video channels in the internet. Uh, today we're going to present uh, our uh, clinical work in the last two years here in the community of Rio de Janeiro City, uh, a city of 7 million people where we have been working as a transcultural psychiatry uh, uh, an actor and drama therapist in Rio and seeing people from many places. We are the Dionysus Theater Clinic and the Popular University for Art and Science, which is an organization of uh, artists and scientists from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Uh, we start with Carl Jung because he's a major reference in our work and he tells it is becoming increasingly clear that it is not hunger, neither microbes, nor even cancer, but man himself, the greatest danger to humankind. Because he can't defend himself from psychic epidemics, infinitely more devastating in their effects than the biggest natural catastrophes. So, given that, we uh, understand that we are suffering here in Rio particularly, because that's what we're going to talk about, a very clear moment of mass psychosis, of collective psychosis, which is one of those psychic epidemics that Dr. Jung is referring right there. So we are presenting now two years of uh, our theater clinic Dionysus in Rio de Janeiro. And our strategies of work were beach, thalassotherapy, the, the therapy of, of nature, of, of sea, theater, drama therapy, and easy psychiatry, which is the arts and the Jungian psychiatry applied uh, masterfully by this woman psychiatrist from Brazil, Nisa da Silveira, that we subscribe as continuators and reproducers of her method. Our group is composed by me, Vitor Pordeus, Tiago Beck Raices, Natalie Cristino, Eric Rodriguez, Louise Rosenberg from Montreal, Canada, and also Dr. Jaswan Guzder, professor from the Division of Social and Transcultural Psychiatry from McGill University, that has been uh, a person who is guiding our, our clinical work and our cultural work, and she is a world leader in transcultural psychiatry today. And uh, we start with this uh, data that we did a total of uh, 1,180 uh, 1, events that were performed in the last two years. The major events were magical consultations that were uh, 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 counted as 468 consultations. We also had 241 theater actions from workshops, uh, theater uh, uh, formations, uh, performances, public performances, presentations of, of, of the work, and that was very, very uh, rewarding to work in my own community and to develop again this approach uh, that was the Dionysus Theater, which was originally developed in the uh, psychiatric hospital. Also, we had the excellent opportunity of developing uh, artistic residencies uh, with, with different artists in the community when we use it to have a house that uh, we don't have anymore. Uh, our, the basis of our work and the basis and, and the daily life of our work, even during, uh, uh, during the pandemics and also during the, 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 the 19 months of, 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 of that we were following people. We follow people through the performance. That perf the performance, that is the clinical performance, of course, but also the theatrical performance that uh, we have the opportunity to observe in our workshops and our theater actions. So we can evaluate presence, engagement, singing, dancing, gesture and gestures, contribution in collective activities, play and character interpretation, 
poetry declamation, general state, and documented reports and statements that we may collect from the people and from the artistic work. So this generates a scale that goes from uh, 0 to uh, 20. And with this scale, we can plot the performance and the clinical performance of our clients and our uh, workers and our actors that are being followed in the clinical work. Out of those uh, medical consultations, we ended up with uh, 156 patients that can be seen here in this graphic. And each of them have a different uh, theatrical clinical performance, which is what we are calling the, the Dionysus scale, which is the Dionysus scale of spontaneous expression and, and, and therapeutic engagement in the end. As Dr. Nise da Silveira have shown before, it is related the artistic and performatic expression to the clinical psychiatric evolution. And this may represent a big uh, therapeutic, diagnostic, and semiologic tool that we must explore in a moment like this. So what we have here is the general tendency. We have a general tendency of improvement. And we have a very small part of the group, actually, of this large group of 156 people that were followed, that had an excellent performance that we can consider a satisfactory performance uh, of, of, of positive satisfactory clinical performance. So that makes up uh, out of the 156, 27 people that effectively were the uh, Dionysus group uh, that have worked throughout the two years that were the people that had a positive clinical and theatrical performance. We have worked a lot in the clinical realm. Uh, we have worked with a feminicide, appendicitis, street suicide attempt, stroke and suspected autoimmune vasculitis in context of di divorce and family illness, lowering level of consciousness and cognitive impairment due to the antidepressant intoxication, family illness everywhere, epidemics of professional burnout syndrome, psychological competition, severe neurosis in a large part of our community, 80% is severe, uh, uh, hard to treat neurosis. Uh, the project was trapped and we faced an eviction in the community and that also was part of the severe neurosis syndrome that we are facing. We have uh, a lot of group of patients with schizophrenia, chronic psychosis, we in the pandemics period we had to medicate a lot of people we had we had to use medication as never before to stop crises and violent events uh, we had the we have some cases that have lived in the streets and they are out of the streets for years now and we had a family a first psychosis episode that healed and and, and relapsed inside the the, the pandemics and also very uh, bizarre events that are being uh, mapped more recently inside our community, which is child abuse in obscure violent rituals, public scandals denouncing satanic rituals in our communities here in Brazil, in Rio. This is a, a psychiatric fact that we'll have to face and debate and understand. And organized crime in the periphery threatening the families and the patients and that's also very powerful and very common in our work. Uh, I have worked uh, with 24 communities since Leblon, Copacabana, until Rialengo, Magalhães Bastos. We cover the whole area of, of this, the, the 7 million people uh, in Rio so this gives us a very high diversity of communities and people from different parts of Rio. And also, I have been seeing patients from the south of Brazil, from Paraná, from, from also from São Paulo. So we are having a, a big picture of, uh, of, of, of patients that reveal collective unconsciousness and collective unconscious contents that may uh, relate to very different uh, territories and communities. And what we uh, have grouped as archetypal themes 
uh, uh, being in ourselves Jungians and we are always uh, observing this uh, technique that Professor Jung has taught us of tracing a mythological parallels in order to create communication with contents in the anamnesis and in the process of understanding the history of our clients. One key archetypal theme was fetish for money as they call the demon Mammon from the Old Testament or as Goethe wrote in his Faust in part 2, San Juan, when Mephistopheles the devil creates money. This is really really a big powerful uh, fetishistic force in our society. The second group is ritualized child abuse and the anthropology of Neo-Pentecostalism and Umbanda in Candomblé in Brazil, which is a very serious work from an anthropologist, Wagner Gonçalves da Silva, professor of anthropology from uh, São Paulo University, and that's a very uh, interesting uh, approach to understand the vibrant spirituality of Brazilian people and the different forms and the even conflicting forms and, and the corruption of rituals and the kidnapping of rituals and the inversion of rituals that we are facing in our contemporary society. Also very important, organized crime, paramilitary militias att attacking families and communities in Rio. And from that we remember Shakespeare you know, with Macbeth, Richard III and Hamlet. Also very serious the incidence of, of pathological egocentrism, vampirism, hysteria, ego formation, and then we bring the classical uh, authors from psychiatry with the psychoanalysis, Sigmund Freud, Jung, and John Wyatt Perry, besides Nisa da Silveira herself, also Carl Jaspers, also Fred Hickling, Jason Gerder, all of them have very interesting clinical experiences that we think we should observe in a moment of crisis like this, where young people need guidance and support, uh, young physicians, in order to face those clinical works, clinical challenges. Also sex wars, which is the Marduk-Tiamat syndrome with the Babylonian gods Marduk and Tiamat, and Tiamat is the, the defeated goddess, and Marduk is the monotheistic uh, killer god, and this is uh, something we have debating in our group for a few years. But also we can debate the general theme of pedagogy for autonomy and pedagogy for dependency, which all of that is related, because when you have a fetish, you have a disbalance of your emotion. You think that objects and material objects can mediate your emotions and mediate your relationships. The relationships stop happening among and between people and start happening between people, material goods, material uh, uh, things that man himself invented and people get rela uh, emotionally related to those materials, to those objects and that's money and that becomes like a devil, a, mo a, a monster, a psychological monster with uh, special powers. And how did we treat and how did we attack and how did we uh, def uh, survive all these uh, uh, challenges of working in such a cr critical and, 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 and complicated community with high levels of violence and killings and homicides and satanism and all that through theater. We are theatrical people here in Brazil, Dionysus and the tragedy, the masks of the tragedy of the comedy and the first play that we started in, in, in August 2018, exactly two, two years ago, was Lila by Goethe that generated a glorious community uh, process with uh, performances and training of actors. The participation of Reginaldo Terra, which is a survivor of the psychiatric system in the last 58 years, and he had been an example of resilience and, and resistance for our group in the last 10 years and he's living in the community in the last two years and, and for us it's a big victory that he survived and left the, 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 the deadly uh, asylum, a psychiatric asylum from the periphery of Rio de Janeiro. In this play I played Dr. Verazio which was a doctor who uh, healed psychosis through theater we had 
incredible performance by Jaci Oliveira, the Pelezinho in the center of the of the scene with our team, everybody mobilized, and I have been playing in a lot, and I, and that's the secret. You play and you don't stop playing, and you don't work alone, and you work in groups, and you play the violin and you play the drum. And, and, and everybody gets together. After this, we started Hamlet in the suburb, in the house of the suburb. Then we moved the play to a central library in the downtown of Rio. And, 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 now, and after that, I went to perform in the, in the Elsinore Castle in Denmark, which is the castle of the historical Hamlet, and also in many theaters here in Rio. And we had been doing incredible work of, uh, of, of public performance, occupation of public spaces, mobilization of different kinds of people and people in homelessness and people with uh, different diagnoses in, in psychiatry, as usual, because we don't discriminate anyone. Everybody is a player and the world is a stage, as is written here in Portuguese. Uh, which is this phrase of, of Shakespeare and every human beings are actors. We played in, in the house, in the communities, in the family houses, we played in the streets, we had incredible participation from medical students from my medical school uh, where we could do incredible uh, uh, workshops uh, influencing new generations of physicians future physicians here in Rio. We had a considerable uh, media response and media coverage here in Rio, and then we showed incredible work where in this scene, he seen the former homeless person, Jaci Oliveira Pelezinho, is lecturing for the uh, class of, med of, of first year medical students that were visiting our work. So this is our uh, example, our methodology, our uh, mental health promotion, uh, clinical facts that are documented through images and can be verified. And uh, I, I went to Denmark, I had this amazing experience in, in, the, in the castle of, of Hamlet playing uh, in, with the historical apparatus of the King Hamlet and, and Reginaldo Terra played this uh, ghost. It was really a uh, consecration. It was a, a very rewarding experience to be there and to work with the people and to be able to improvise and, you know, to be uh, recognized and dialogue and be hugged by the people and to play with Hamlet and Ophelia and to die in the castle. And, you know, so this all was a very important uh, experience that we keep referring with this uh, art from Kleber Cajun on the importance of art and, and the importance of, of music, of dance, of, of painting, of, 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 of colors in our life, of meaning in our life. We also occupy the public park in Rio where we started a new play and we were playing Macbeth at this moment and also we had a television coverage that helped us to promote the idea of of art and, and healing and medicine and therapy. We had this amazing experience with Macbeth, this amazing story uh, by uh, uh, Shakespeare, where we have this incredible participation of the witches and, 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 and the whole discussion of, of, of madness and psychosis and violence. It's a perfect uh, work and we were, I, I was very happy to verify the community engagement and the groups and the families that were playing with us and doing incredible work that uh, was marked by this chorus of witches that occupied the, 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 the public spaces of Rio with incredible images and incredible uh, uh, theater. And, and, and that is the archetypal key scene of this play where the feminine power is uh, restored and, and, and it's uh, and this is uh, I was playing General Macbeth and this is Lady Macbeth played by Eleison Leon that was incredible we had incredible theater sessions in the in the, in the public spaces in the beach with, with the moon in this moment with Macbeth we, we performed Macbeth in the Psychology Institute of the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro 
we developed this key uh, partnership with the public school of Rio, Pedro Segundo, with Professor, professor Dilma Mesquita, who is an actress and a poet, and she practices uh, the arts as mental health promotion and, and alternative education. And that was all uh, constructed together. We had the visit of Louise Rosenberg that came from Montreal and helped us to play Macbeth, to play Queen Hecate. Here is Louise Rosenberg on the right, Fabiani Valmore on the center, and on the left, Julia Braga, which are our actresses, but Louise is from Montreal and she was playing here in Rio with us. We thank Louise for this support and this engagement that is very important for us. Uh, this is a homage to Orson Welles that played Macbeth in a ma masterful way. Our Lady Macbeth that was performed by Eleison Leon was a remarkable interpretation. He's a very gifted actor. And also what happened is that we uh, radicalized the, 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 the public occupation and we are working since the last year uh, 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 fully in the theatrical works, fully in the street. We have the office and the, the psychological and psychiatric consultations, but the theater training, the actors training, the playing, the process of building the play is happening since the last year, fully in the street, 100% community. 100% funded by our patients, 100% occupying public spaces, and 100% working in collective groups, in circles of culture, and working in the occupation of the public parks of Rio and the beach and the nature of Rio that is a very powerful and beautiful way. This is me making a sound with the young students from where we are developing this project of mental health promotion in the school that is a very important uh, and also in a community of learning with Professor Josepa Pacheco uh, in Brazil with Professor Dilma Mesquita too. And we also had this beautiful peacock that played with us inside the park in the downtown and it's been a very rewarding experience for the group and how the witches have become the bacae with the occupation of the public space, we saw this transformation of the image and the Bacay became uh, the, the current play that were, was performed in December 2019, January and February to 2020, before the pandemics. And that was incredible uh, play from Euripides, the Greek uh, uh, playwright that wrote this play in 400 before Christ. And all this happened as pageants and plays, and we occupied the beautiful Atpoador, which is a touristic point in Rio de Janeiro, where we do incredible public spectacles, uh, praising Dionysius and the Baca and telling the story, with incredible participation of very small children, uh, leading the scenes and leading the archetype of the child god, that is an archetype very related to Dionysus and very related to this play and the incredible participation of our people, our families and our community, we thank that. Another very small children, child working and playing with us and also the presence of the man machine and nature is God, Dionysus is the nature and uh, we thank we are in our city, in our community and being able to observe our potencies and our potencies for health promotion that in spite of a very unfavorable scenario we uh, have uh, forces in our territory in our nature that may help us to understand that to play is urgent as is written in this art by the uh, Belém do Pará artist from the north of Brazil Kleber Cajun very important is the association of Nisa da Silveira and Paulo Freire, which is the idea of Nisa psychiatry and Freire pedagogy. The archetype of the child god represented here in, uh, by Horus. Also, I have to say that we did a, a theater a, a study group 
a study group that worked in the Pedro II public school, a traditional public school, where we were demonstrating and working in uh, Freirian pedagogy, circles of culture, and debating the role of culture in mental health. So there is a very precious marriage between Nisa da Silveira and Paulo Freire. Very important too was the work with Dr. Jasmine Guster. We went to Venice and we worked there. We lectured in Venice together. I went to Montreal in June 2019 and we participated and animated, helped to animate with Dr. Guster, Dr. Walcott, and Dr. And Dr. Debian Chambers from Jamaica. The workshop on art and healing that was a very successful work I also presented in the Consulate of Brazil, our experience in transcultural psychiatry and theater in Montreal, with the participation of the group of theater in Montreal that we developed. We had this incredible, amazing, wonderful uh, conference, uh, Global Health Mental Health Conference in, in Jamaica. And, and it was the last event before we, we lost Professor Fred Hickling that died suddenly in, on May in 2020, in the middle of the pandemic. It was the last reunion of our meeting with Jasmine, with Dad Lowe, with Geoffrey, with so many people, that Nicole de Souza, uh, and many people that are our work and our team. And this is a very challenging moment for us. But we keep working and we keep uh, doing online uh, 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 meetings and co or organization. We also present a paper in the Spinoza conference uh, presenting the medicine of Nisida da Silveira as an example of uh, Spinoza's uh, metaphysical and, and, and philosophical visions of nature, of biology, and that's what we believe. God is nature. We have been doing a lot of theatrical and cultural works in nature with the Ray, Ray Lima, uh, the great poet from the north, Vera Dantes, and, and the group of Seno poets that are this group that articulate cultural strategies for education, mental health, and configure the group from the Popular University uh, of Art and Science in Brazil. All of them are founders of the Madness Hotel, and we have been gathering in, in Brazil, in the northeast of Brazil, in the communities of Mataraca, which is a, a small community uh, uh, where we have been doing a lot of work and occupying public spaces and also working in the Northeast and, and also in Sao Paulo, in the SESC organization. We kept doing uh, contacts and interviews with Jasm Guster, more press, we had coverage from the press. The actors were uh, working by, them, by, by themselves at this point. We, we, we had, I had interviews in the television, published papers in, in, in uh, institutions in Brazil and commerce institutions, and then suddenly came the uh, pandemics, and we faced a, critic, a big crisis of the coronavirus, and this has been a very stressful. Uh, Professor Nelson Vaz, have been extremely lucid and extremely all the time doing a quality debate in order to help us to orientate what we are facing. I recorded many videos in YouTube and uh, talking about what we are facing and I revealed my own work in immunology that I have been uh, publishing in the last 15 years and also uh, our YouTube channel is being a, a good platform for the debates and the documentation of our thinking. We did a lot of online meetings with our theater group. I did interviews with Dr. Gustavo Dias, which is a leader in cannabis and medicine in Brazil. I also did the lives with uh, Leonel Brizola. I, I also had uh, an interesting uh, live with the uh, Freudians from Rio about the dark side of Dionysius and the archetypes that we are observing and this idea of uh, kidnapping, of ritual kidnapping of, of, of Dionysius, of, of Hermes and Eshu 
and Lake Bai and, and, and gods of the, of, the, of the pathway that are being attacked and persecuted in Brazil because of uh, f religious fanatism and political polarization. Finally, our last, our new last, né, the latest play by our, gr our group, which is The Imaginary Invalid by Molière, Le Malade Imaginaire. And we are right now preparing to resume the rehearsals and there is a whole new moment for us. Hippocrates, Sigmund Freud, Marshall McLuhan, Pepe Mujica. Culture is the routine of the values that we have in life. Bertolt Brecht, these are our references. Professor Leonard Schlein in his book The Alphabet versus the Goddess, the conflict between word and image. Our great alchemist and professor Carl Jung that generated his, his first Brazilian student, Nise da Silveira. Nise was a revolutionary, a rebel psychiatrist that changed the history of Brazilian mental health. And Nise was a Spinozian, so it's all a renewal of Spinoza's uh, scientific ideas. Also, Hans Prince Horn, a great pioneer in art and psychiatry. We salute Hans Prince Horn and thank him for uh, giving all of those masters, gave our legacy and Hippocrates. And, 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 and Hans Prince Horn playing cello in underwear, showing that a psychiatrist doesn't have to be a sad or apathic or uncreative person. You, you can be an artist and a, a psychiatrist and be a creative person and help your people with creativity. That's a very important thing. Franz Fanon, the psychology of colonization, the wretched of the earth. We have been having uh, financial support from our community People have uh, subscriptions, online subscriptions, where they donate very small amount of money, and we are following up. These are, are all of the links that we have. This is our email, and this is a painting by Carlos Pertuis from the archive of the Museum of Images of the Unconscious. Thank you very much. Thank you. We thank our community. We thank our masters. We thank our ancestors. We thank everybody that is vibrating and cooperating and uh, doing creativity and changing uh, our lives and what is possible to change through creative expression, through the arts, through music, through dance, through theater, through painting, through all uh, uh, languages that are available and have shown that that's how we can tame our dark and difficult sides of our souls. Thank you very much.